Here we're given a, a pendulum with a cord length of one meter that swings in a vertical plane. When the pendulum is in the horizontal position, so the pendulum is fixed here when it's in the horizontal position. This is one meter the length. Its speed is seven meters per second. So the pendulum is swinging in the vertical plane. When it's 90 degrees, its speed is seven meters per second. So V here is seven meters per second. We want to determine the acceleration of the pendulum for this position. Now, since this is moving in a circular path, there's always a centripetal acceleration, which is v square over r. This is an acceleration towards the center. So I know that there's an acceleration A, which is V square over R. So I have centripetal acceleration. A centripetal, which is V square over R. V square is 49 meter square per second square. And the radius is just one meter. It's the length of the court. So this is 49 meter per second square. This is the centripetal acceleration, and this is, in this case, in the minus x direction, if you like. If I put an x-axis here and a y-axis here, this is in the minus x direction. But of course, that's not the whole story. The object also has a weight. mg. So it's attracted by the earth, it's pulled by the earth with a force equal to mg. Or in, in other words, it has an acceleration g, which is vertically down. So there's an acceleration g, which is 9.8 meters per second square. So we have a, a 49 meter per second square towards the center in the negative x direction. And we have a 9.8 meter per second square which is vertically down in the minus y direction. So this is in the minus x direction. And then we have a 9.8 meter per second square in the minus y direction. The total acceleration is the sum of the two, so it's a vector. We can determine the magnitude of the vector and its direction. I can write, setting up the x-axis here and y-axis here, as I indicated, the components of the vector A are 
AX is minus 49 meter per second squared, because it's in the minus X direction, and AY is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. In fact, that determines A completely because I have specified the components of A. If I'm interested in the magnitude of A and the direction of A, I can find A as a square root of A x square plus A y square, which is a square root of 49 square plus 9.8 square, which is 9.8 times the square root of 26. So, so that's about 50. Meters per second square. This is the magnitude of the acceleration. I can find the angle here if I choose to, uh, tangent of the angle is 9.8 over 49, the opposite over adjacent. So if I call this angle here theta, then tangent theta is just the opposite over the adjacent 9.8 divided by 49. That's just 1 over 5. So I can get the magnitude and direction of the acceleration vector.